So I'm finally back here on the channel. I took a long break, it feels like, even though it was like a week or two. But I am back and I'm ready to make some more content for you guys. So, of course, if you've been anywhere on the internet, I'm sure you've seen this whole thing going on with FaZe. So FaZe ended up signing a actor or a former actor who was in Stranger Things, Grace Van Dyne. She decided to stop acting and get into streaming which I honestly think is great for her, you know? She has an audience, she's famous now, she might as well capitalize. But it is interesting to see a female creator get signed in this way when they, they claim to do this to support women, but they have actual female creators that they just don't support. And what they're hoping for with the signing like this is that they draw in people who wouldn't normally care about FaZe Clan because FaZe Clan, ever since I would say 20, well, see, they went public around the, the COVID era. So I would say for like the last year or two, they've been in really dire straits. And now it's gotten to the point where multiple founders of the company have come out and talked down on the brand, which is never good. Unfortunately, these guys aren't in charge anymore and they're the ones who built up the brand. And now they've let it go. I don't even think this was a really good decision on Grace's part to join up with FaZe Clan. Because it's literally just on a downward spiral. Unless they gave her a seven figure deal. In which case I'm completely wrong. But outside of that, she should have probably just went with a different group. I Like 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves is a good group. You know? And they've got a bunch of good people over there. Like, um... First name that comes to mind is Vinny Hacker, the guy who beat De Deji uh, a year or two ago. People like that. I remember John Sean made a video making fun of their compound, but but they got some nice stuff going on. And at, at the very least, they're on the up and up. I might be thinking about the wrong uh, company, but you get the drift. Anyway, Phrase Rain, one of the founders that I was talking about earlier, decided to have a little rant where he complained about the signing of Grace Van Dyne. Grace, I'm sorry. All I want to say is your golden Valorant makes Stranger Things your entire personality even though you're only on one episode. You found out about Twitch through Tumblr. Not only have you not hit a trick shot, but you don't even know what the fuck that is. When you were still playing with Barbies, I made my first million out of this industry. And on top of it, you're excruciatingly mid who I would never let touch me on my drunkest night. So saying I wouldn't touch you or wouldn't let you touch me on my drunkest night is uh, it's a little out there, you know? Uh, but it's not horrible. And... Grace had an interesting response on her own channel, and here that is. He says that I don't even know what a trick shot is. You're right, I don't. Um, and I know that that's kind of what you're known for, but I know you, Rain, as the person who almost overdosed on a live stream. So uh, to put on, put on a smile and uh, sit there and say, I know you OD'd, it's kind of crazy. Uh, they're they're both in the wrong. This is just uncomfortable. Like, this is so bad for your brand if you're FaZe. Like, I know their PR management or whatever is mad about this junk, bro. Like, it's bringing more eyes to FaZe than have been there for a while. But it's all negative press. And as we'll see later on, Grace is thinking about leaving. Which means... All this positive press that you got, you know, all this eyes, all the eyes that you got, because a lot of people believe that all publicity is good publicity, especially on the internet, because anything that happens within drama or whatever is going to draw people towards you, is going to get you more hits, more clicks, more views, more AdSense. But at some point, you just got to be like, all right, man, enough is enough. Like, how much can we allow our dirty laundry to be put out there? But Grace and uh, FaZe Rain decided to do something that at first I thought was mature. And then I actually watched the video. They had a little sit-down chat. And here's how it ended. I mean, you don't know me. So then how is, this, how is this hurting your feelings? If I call you mid, you should be like, fuck him. Who cares what I say? And if you bring up my drug past, are you getting emotional? Yeah. Well, I'm just speaking the truth. I don't want you to get emotional. I don't like you. Okay, that's fine. I'm just being very logical. I understand how you feel, but you brought things up against me. How I do you expect me to I think you're a terrible person. Really? Yeah. Oh, she's pulling the acting shit up now. 
Because I said that Pulling I Pulling the acting shit out now? How am I a terrible person for what? Pulling the acting how shit out How am I a terrible now? person? Explain. I don't owe you an explanation, actually. And I owe you an explanation. Um, Macho, tell Vera that I'm not doing this video, and if they release anything, that I'm leaving, please. Very productive conversation. I really don't know what made her cry. I, I think it was like the uh, just uncomfortability of, of the moment. Maybe it was a defense mechanism. I don't know. But it just felt so off and it, it was bad. Uh, do I think she should leave FaZe? I think she should join a better uh, gaming organization. I think she should learn what a trick shot is. I understand her being signed I don't think it'll really do much for the company but as for her I, I think she can do a lot better in terms of uh, gaming organizations I really feel like she signed with them just off the name you know just knowing that FaZe has a lot of pull at least in their name in terms of the online community but that's really gone away think about how big joining FaZe was in like 2012 compared to like now can, can you tell me a major addition to FaZe in the last five years outside of Grace? Because I, I can't. I, I can't. And that's the thing. That's what's tripping them up right now. The fact that they can't get any genuine traction. They're running themselves into the ground. And instead of appealing to more gamers, they decided to hire somebody from Stranger Things. The biggest fans of Stranger Things aren't really going to be playing a lot of video games you know because they they tend to view netflix as their form of entertainment instead of like gaming now there is some overlap obviously but not enough really to justify the signing as like the big win for your company as like oh we got this big draw because if you're phased you got to be thinking like ah oh, man things aren't looking good stocks down we were near bankruptcy last year can't be much better this year so we got to figure something out and fast and I, I don't know if the signing was the best thing I, I did I find it a little funny now how uh, uh, Grace Van Dyne protected all of her tweets and um, I, I don't think she's leaving I she she there's no way that she has the power to leave phase what I mean by that is she has a contract and if she took if she took any deal that was less than seven figures, that means she probably doesn't have the money to buy herself out of that deal. Okay, and now that she's such a negative draw, it's going to be hard to convince another gaming organization that she's worth that buyout. I might be phrasing buyouts wrong, but I think I got a decent uh, hold on them. Speaking of buyouts, uh, Shannon Sharp's leaving undisputed because he bought out his contract which sucks but that has nothing to do with what i'm talking about and i doubt my fans watch uh, undisputed anyway i just want to end things off by saying that this is just so ridiculous it's petty and i think both people on both sides are just wasting their time you could spend your time on much more fulfilling things uh grace didn't have to let all this stuff go to her head rain he didn't let it get to his head as much but he definitely did let it get to his head so yeah it is what it is also i'll be dropping a video on my second channel tomorrow it's rendering right now so yeah there it is and i'll have a video on uh, nick is not green and hassan coming out tomorrow so yeah goodbye